Hair dyes are commonly used, but unfortunately you can get allergies with them as well. The commonest allergen is paraphenylendiamine, otherwise called PPD, and I have done a video on PPD-free hair dyes before. However, did you know that those of an allergy to PPD are more likely to be allergic to methyl isothiazolinone as well? Hello, my name is Dr. Yasudian and I'm a consultant dermatologist based in the UK. In this video, we will look at hair dyes that do not contain methyl isothiazolinone, otherwise called MI. MI is a strong allergen and causes rashes and irritation around the hairline, the eyes, the neck and the ears, and sometimes it can be really widespread and alarming, producing severe facial swelling and also breathing difficulties. Even if you're not allergic to PPD, you still have to look out for MI because it's found in hair dye kits, commonly in the conditioner or shampoo, and sometimes in the activators of hair dyes as well. Let's look at hair dyes that contain PPD, but do not have MI. Nature tint and herbitint permanent hair colors, tints of nature permanent color. Tints of nature permanent colors use a lower level of PPD compared to other brands. Next, what are the hair dyes that do not have PPD or MI? These can be divided into permanent, semi-permanent or natural. Permanent hair dyes contain para diamine, otherwise called TDS. But these two are fairly potent allergens and sensitizers. Around 50% of those who are allergic to PPD can tolerate para diamine. The following dyes contain TDS but are PPD free and MI free. Natcha Vital Color Safe. Madison Reed permanent hair color which is available mainly in the US. Next let's look at semi-permanent hair dyes. One way to sidestep the problem of PPD and MI is to avoid permanent hair color and choose semi-permanent options instead. These do not use an activator so they are peroxide free but do not penetrate the hair as well. Therefore they don't last as long and aren't as effective particularly on gray hair. Most can darken or enhance existing pigment in the hair. Some of the artificial colors used, for example, azo dyes, may also be reactive. However, only about 10% of those who use it become sensitized compared to those with other dye allergies. Let's look at dyes that do not have PPD, TDS or MI. First is Nature Tint Reflex. This is Nature Tint's non-permanent line which contains artificial colorants make sure that you choose the reflex name products if you want this option tints of nature semi-permanent hair dye contains artificial colorants make sure that you don't confuse this range with their ppd containing permanent range surya henna cream combines artificial colors with henna and other natural botanic dyes finally temporary or natural hair dyes Although no color or hair dye can be guaranteed as completely safe, probably the least risky option are temporary colors of vegetable rinses, which contain largely or entirely natural ingredients with no oxidization. Here's a selection. All of them are free of PPD, TDS, ammonia, peroxide, and MI. Lush color contain natural solid hair coloring bars of henna, indigo, coffee, with cocoa butter and other botanicals and essential oils. Surya Brazil powder contains natural powders of henna, amla, indigo and other extracts which needs to be blended with water before application. Lagona is a German brand of creams and powders made with entirely natural ingredients including henna, jojoba, indigo, rhubarb, cassia plus essential oils, wheat, protein and algin. Its Pure Organics are powders made with indigo, cassia, henna, amla and other similar natural dyes. Light Mountain Natural Hair Colors are powders using henna, senna and indigo in very beautifully designed boxes. Rainbow Research Henna Powders are powders using neutral henna, red henna, black henna, chamomile and marigold. Finally, here are a few points to remember. Firstly, get a diagnosis from a dermatologist if you can. If you react to any cosmetic ingredients, including those used for hair dyes, your dermatologist may be able to explain which ones you're allergic to and which ingredient to exclude. Secondly, do patch testing 48 hours before you plan to use the color or the dye. 
Generally, the instructions are to place a small amount of the dye or the mixture, including the activator, behind the ear for two days. And if you react to it, for example, if there's redness or irritation, then don't use it. Usually, the manufacturers itself will give their instructions in their boxes. Thirdly, keep in mind that formulations and products can change with time. So it's a good idea to consult the most recent reviews, ingredient lists and recommendations before making a purchase. Finally, don't assume that natural means allergy free. No dye or hair color is 100% safe for 100% of those who use it. I hope you found this information helpful. Thank you for listening and bye.